Hi friends, it's time for calendar. Let's do the days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and also Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Today is Friday, November 13th, 2020. Don't have to worry about it being Friday the 13th. God takes care of us. So let's count our even numbers. Are you ready? So we're going to skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-six, forty-eight. 50, 52, 54. We have had 54 days of school. So there are four ones and there are five tens. Five tens and four ones make 54. Uriah's birthday is getting closer and closer, but not yet. So our birthday graph stays the same, as does our tooth board. And we will now have devotion. Each night at six. You help us by your prayer, Second Corinthians 1, verse 11. We wish we could go with you, some of the young people told the missionary who had talked to their Sunday school. The missionary was leaving to work for Jesus in a country far away. Come with me in your prayers every day, said the missionary. You can help me by praying for me. We could all promise to pray for you every evening at six o'clock, said Tiffany. And that's what some of them decided to do. Each night at six. They prayed for the missionary and his work. Our prayers do great things for people who work for God. God gladly listens to those prayers. The Bible says the prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. The Apostle Paul wanted his friends to pray for him. When he wrote to them, he said, You help us by your prayers. Then many will give thanks for the gracious favor granted us in answer to the prayers of many. Our missionaries today also say, You help us by your prayers. Our pastors and our teachers in the church say, You help us by prayer. All other people who work for Jesus in his church say, You help us by prayer. We could write a list of people to pray for. It would help us remember missionaries and other servants of Jesus. Let's pray for those people each night. They are doing their work for us. And we can help them by our prayers. And now, let's pray. Jesus, Savior, wash away all that has been wrong today. Make me ever more like you, good and gentle, kind and true. Oh, my best and kindest friend, you will love me to the end. Let me love you more and more, always better than before. Amen.